Alright guys, welcome back. Here, let me pull this back a little teeny bit. Pull it back there. Alright, we want to see Excursion. Oh yes, Excursion. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so what I did here was... Uh, this is the Scar VXF. And I heard about it in an... I didn't watch the other video, but I heard about it in another video that they had the VXF in the SCAR SK-1 box. And this is not the one that the SDR comes in, it's the one that you can buy separately. It's pretty much the same except for the, uh, the beveled in, in, indent. Yeah, the, where the subwoofer sits down inside of the box. It doesn't sit on side, outside, or inside the box, it sits on the outside of the box like a regular subwoofer does on any other box. Recessed, that's what I was looking for. Recessed uh, no, I think of baffle. So I put the VXF inside the box and it actually slipped right in. Uh, the, the sides of the gasket like literally are touching each end here, they're touching each end. I think that's how it was though with the, ZV, the SVR as well though. Yeah. When I took it out, I had to actually like, it was hard to get these screws out because of the way that this is right here. Oh, the, S, the SVR, that's right. So the SVR was originally in this box. Yep. Um, that was my original setup. So the VXF actually calls for a two cubic foot uh, box and that happens to be what this box is. So like everything about the box, Screams, I'm perfect for you, VXF. <laughs> so, I figured I'd try to sit it in there, and it fit. And here we are with a demo. So, without further ado... Now, is that where it was, or did you turn it no, down? No, that's where it was. But you were in the middle of the video. So it's stronger. This demo he uses gets stronger as it goes. So I saw a 777. Oh, that's some nice exterior. Yeah, it does sound nice. It looks good. Yeah, it's not, yeah, like I said too, it sounds nice. So having a box for the correct specs of the, to the subwoofer uh, makes it perform as needed and makes it sound as the best as it can. Because tunings of boxes, there's stuff like that can affect how the subwoofer moves slash runs, and uh, it, it's just good. It needs a. Okay. Nice. high number here. We're on dyno power. So ten sixty five. Ten sixty five so far. One thousand sixty five watts. Like it's hitting that thousand mark consistently. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try the. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let me try this here. All right, so um, let's see if I can get this going here. I took the eyes. 
No. All right, let's go switch that back. And here we go. Consistent with that same number, about a thousand watts, nine hundred and thousand watts. Ten fifty six. That's weird. It's the same number it hit before. All right, so I'm gonna do something real quick here. I'm gonna try a regular old song. I'm gonna try a regular song here. Let's see. Let's see what I can find here. Find a song I can play for you guys. <laughs> All right, so here's a regular song. Let's see what we get here. Now this is just a regular, ordinary old song. Let's see what we get for regular bass from this. It's uh, 33 to 37 hertz. It no, sounds think, nasty in the house. If he thinks this doesn't, I wonder if they ever think like, oh, does it shake the house? Yeah, it shakes oh, the yeah. whole entire upstairs, downstairs. Everything's shaking in the, the house. The neighbors can probably hear it. <laughs> the neighbors' neighbors hear it. <laughs> They're like, man, I wonder what the neighbors are doing next door. But it's not those neighbors. It's the neighbors next door to the neighbors. That's us. <laughs> we just have a party every day, you know? <laughs> What do we got? 450 watts so far? That's it? This is, is well it's a regular song. I just wanted to see what a regular song did. Oh yeah. For like power wise. Yeah. Look up here. It's just a bass line. Yeah, just bass. <laughs> Let's see what we got. 464, 534. Let's see what we got. Come on. I think 79. Here we go. Just so you have an idea of what it would do in your car as like a normal. Just running for a normal uh, everyday driving down the street. 744. Five-ish ohms. So I seen as low as four and as high as. For some reason, I don't know why it goes so high, but it does. Nine twenty. There we go. All right. I don't know if that turned up another volume or not, but... Oh, it did. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, it turned up another volume. <laughs> 11.56, so we actually got higher just now on a regular song than we got the whole time. <laughs> What'd you turn it? Was it too high? I don't know, I turned up another volume. I didn't know it went up another volume. I thought I had it up all the way. Was that one more? I just put it up one more. You can definitely. You can, I can feel the wind over here. Oh yeah. Looks like curling backwards. Let's see it at 30 hertz. 30, at 33, 37 hertz. I 
don't like seeing it in 30 frames. which is pretty dope. So I'm kind of glad I, I went along and did this test. So uh, 4.6 ohms, 1290 watts. Oh, it's a dual four. Yeah, dual four. I forgot about that. And uh, so I just cut the other camera off. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, as always. Make sure you uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other. And as always, guys, peace.